Hi friends, welcome to Naresha Technologies. Welcome to the third session on ratio and proportion. Now, let us look into the problems which we are going to discuss today. The third model, the income of A and B are in the ratio of 6 is to 5 and their expenditures are in the ratio of 3 is to 2 respectively. If A saves one fourth of his income, then find the savings ratio of A and B respectively. Now, if you look carefully into this question, we have three terms in this question. The first one is income, the second one is expenditure and the third one is savings. Now, first of all, what is the relation between these three terms? Income, expenditure and savings. We know that income minus expenditure should give us savings. Now, the income ratio of A and B is given as 6 is to 5. Their expenditures are in the ratio of 3 is to 2 respectively. Here, when I say income of A and B are in the ratio of 6 is to 5, that is, if, if A earns 6 rupees, B will earn 5 rupees and their expenditures are in the ratio of A is 3 is to 2. That is, if A spends 3 rupees, then B will be spending 2 rupees. Now, talking about the savings, now we need to find the savings ratio of A and B. Do not directly subtract this because these two are not depend upon these two. Now, how to answer this? Now, we have one more information given to us. A saves one fourth of his income. Now, how to answer this question in a very simple way? Now, when I talk about the income, income of A and B are in the ratio of 6 is to 5. So, let us assume that the income of A is 600 rupees and the income of B is 500 rupees. Now, it is given that A saves one fourth of his income. Now, the income of A we have assumed is 600 and he saves one fourth of his income. So, what is one fourth of 600? One fourth of 600 would be 150. So, the income of A is 600 and his savings is 150. So, his expenditure 600 minus 150 which is 450. The income of A is 600, his savings is 150, his expenditure is 450. But we know that the expenditure ratio of A and B is 3 is to 2. That is, if A spends 3 rupees, B should be spending 2 rupees. Or I say, if A spends 3 parts, B should spend 2 parts. We already know the expenditure of A, which is 450. So, this 3 parts should be equal to 450. So, if 3 parts is 450, 1 part should be equal to 450 by 3 that is 150 and 2 parts should be equal to 150 into 2 300. That is if the expenditure of A is 450 then the expenditure of B should be 300. Now, the income of B is 500, the expenditure of B is 300. So, definitely the savings of B should be 500 minus 300 that is 200. Now, talking about the savings ratio of A and B, A saves 150 rupees, then B will be saving 200. What is the ratio? 150 is to 200, 53s, 54s. So, the savings ratio of A and B would be 3 is to 4. Now, this is how we can answer this particular question in a very simple way. Now, let us take one more example of the same model. Now, the second problem of the same model, the income of A and B are in the ratio of 3 is to 4 and their expenditures are in the ratio of 5 is to 6 respectively. If A saves one third of his income, then find the savings ratio of A and B respectively. Now, let us quickly solve this problem. The income ratio of A and B is 3 is to 4, the expenditure ratio of a and B is 
5 is to 6 and we need to find the savings ratio of A and B. Now, we already are given that A saves one third of his income. Now, I assume the income of A and B as 300 and 400. Now, A saves one third of his income. So, what is one third of 300? One third of 300 is 100. So, A will be saving 100 rupees, his income is 300. So, his expenditure should be 200. Now, the expenditure ratio of A and B is 5 is to 6. That is, if A spends 5 rupees, B will be spending 6 rupees. So, 5 part should be equal to 200, 1 part should be equal to 40 and 6 part should be equal to 240. So, if A spends 200, B is going to spend 240. Now, the income of B is 400, his expenditure is 240. So, his savings should be 400 minus 240, 160. So, what is the savings ratio of A and B? 100 is to 160, which is 5 is to 8. So, the savings ratio of A and B is 5 is to 8. Now, this is how you can solve this problem quickly. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe to Naresh IT.